Look at this sweetie. I said BBs. Ages ago, I said BBs. Ouch. Okay, time's up. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am barefaced and bushy tailed because we're gonna be trying a new foundation. Also, my hair is just, I don't really know what's happening with it, so we're just gonna select my caveman chic look with my cat ears, okay? Makeup Forever recently launched a new foundation and it is called the Matte Velvet Skin. Oh, we have a boy. Oh, I can't look. Hey cutie, look at these toes. Look at these gorilla feet. Who has gorilla feet? You do. Makeup Forever sent me a huge PR package and it I, I just have to share it with you guys. I didn't unbox it on my Instagram or anything because I received this a little while ago, like mid July maybe. So anyway, they sent us this cute little gym bag and it has the Makeup Forever like lips and brush symbol here as well as on the other side it says life is a stage. Because I guess the whole, you know, shtick with the foundation is that it's flexible and movable. They also sent us a yoga mat. I haven't opened this up yet, but it says Makeup Forever on it, which is so cute and I cannot wait to use this. My cat baby, she's gonna definitely scratch this up. Every yoga mat I ever have, she always likes to like dig her claws into it. And then finally, they also sent a cute little water bottle, which I've kept in this nice package, but let's just look at it. <gasps> I love like branded things like this. Oh my gosh, so adorable. And last but not least, they sent me the foundation. They did send me three shades. So I believe I have the three lightest shades. I have two Y05, two Y, oh, sorry, I always say this wrong, Y205, Y215, and R10, which I believe I'm gonna be R10. They also sent me a one, like the first step, which is the hydrating primer, which I've never tried this primer before. I don't even think, have I even tried makeup primer? Maybe like way back in the day, but not with their new packaging. I have never tried this guy. So we're gonna be putting this guy, made in Switzerland. Okay. And they also sent along one of their brushes. This is the 108 brush, which I might use this on one side of my face, but I am also going to use a beauty blender just to blend it. I'll see how I want to apply it. The packaging of this foundation is in a little tube. So these are what the three shades that I got look like. I do believe I'm going to be R210. That's what I think I'm going to be. But we'll, we'll, we'll swatch them all and I'll show you guys swatches of these shades as well. You get it in a cute little tube packaging. So cute. You do get one fluid ounce and this does retail for $48, which is kind of standard when you're speaking of Makeup Forever foundations. It's pretty standard. This is a 24 hour foundation and it does have a matte finish with a full coverage coverage to it. So this one is 25, Y215. Can never get that correct. This one is Y205, which is quite a bit lighter and has more of a pinkish tone, even though it's Y205, which means yellow. And then this one is R210, which this is the guy that I prefer for me. So there are the three lightest shades. I'm too dark for all of them. I know. I'm looking at the sephora.ca website right now and it has 127 reviews and it has 4.5 stars already. This is supposed to be a breathable full coverage foundation with a non-cakey matte finish that bends and breathes with your skin for up to 24 hours of wear. It also says that the skin type you can use this on is normal combination and oily skin, so all skin types. It is also oil free and it comes in a variety of 40 shades. So let's get into applying this sucker. I am gonna start with a little something on my face and since we're using Makeup Forever, I have been obsessed with this guy. This is the Ultra HD Skin Booster. It's both, it's, I think it like plumps your skin and like preps your skin for whatever you put on it. I've been putting this on my face. Well, I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup late. Oh my God, did I just put that? I totally forgot I had my eyes done. Oh my God, okay. <sighs> I have hardly put any makeup on lately, but when I do, I do apply this. Did I just wreck my makeup? I couldn't even feel that I had my eyes done. Anyway, I really like this because it's nice and sticky and I feel like just my primer foundation just stick to it. I'm also gonna try out the hydrating primer since I do have like super dry skin. Um, hopefully this guy will help. Ooh. 
doesn't really have a scent, I don't think. Or else maybe I'm just smelling my hand soap because I just washed my hands. Who knows? Let's just watch out for the eyes. Like I mentioned, I do have pretty dry skin and I have broken out over here. So we do have quite a bit to cover. And over here, all of this stuff is like all scarring. I've gone through it with my skin. So um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna see here. Now, because I just did rub my face, you can probably tell that my skin has gotten a little bit redder. So we are gonna be matching, see how I wore a shirt for this? <laughs> we are gonna be matching to here. Now I have been out in the sun this summer, like you can see all my freckles appearing here. So I am quite a bit darker than I typically am. Um, even like my arms, you can see all of my freckles. So keep that in mind. I'm not as fair as I usually am. So here's some R210. I think I'm gonna just start off with the Beauty Blender. I've just been back on the Beauty Blender train, so I mean, however you apply it, it's gonna be the same shit, okay? Now, let's just bop this on. Oh my God, it is really full coverage. Oh my God, okay. I think I'm just gonna do half my face so then you guys can see. It's blending really nicely with the Beauty Blender. Like it doesn't look super heavy. Let's just keep going. Typically I don't like to put a ton of product on my forehead just because my forehead, this, the, the color of it, Normally I don't like to put a ton of product on my forehead. I like to mainly focus it around the areas that I need a lot of product. So I'm just gonna like lightly apply up here. I'm gonna make it look like it's the same product, but I'm not gonna apply as much and really blend it out up here. Holy crap, holy, that is literally so full coverage. Am I seeing this right? It's like, oh my God. I can tell that it does have a matte finish because around where I have these like little scabby bits over some of this acne, it's kind of, you know how like if you put like powder over that, you can kind of see that. But I mean, that is completely to be expected. It's a patch of dry skin on my skin. I mean, it is what it is. I'm really impressed with the coverage. I'm just gonna apply maybe a tiny bit more just over these little bee bops here. Just so I can maybe not use concealer. Like, I feel like I don't need concealer underneath my eye. My God, throw back to that time that I never used concealer. Like, when was that? Like a year ago? I just like completely stopped using concealer. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> Right off the bat, it's fairly dry. Like over here where it's been on my skin for a little bit already, it is, it is dry. And when I'm moving my finger on it, it's really not moving. I'm just bopping with the Beauty Blender just like to make sure. Um, but it feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't, I really didn't apply a ton on. So it doesn't look heavy really either. I don't think I am going to use any concealer just because I don't think I need it. And if I don't need it, I'm not going to put it on. So at this moment, I'm just going to go ahead and do a little contour, a little blush, a little highlight, and I'll be right back. I also just wanted to mention, um, you probably see this in like every video, but the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Light I don't know what shade it is. I think it's two. Um, this highlighter is amazing. Ugh, I mean, look at that. Jesus. And for lips, I'm going to apply the Ofra. This is Mocha. I don't even think I've ever put this on my lips before. Alrighty, there's the finished look. The foundation still looks gorgeous. I have a feeling it's just gonna continue to look gorgeous, but I'm gonna check in with you guys periodically throughout the day so you can see how this wears on my skin. So far, I'm like, 
I'm looking like a little snack right now. You can obviously see the texture of this little dude over here. And over here, you can kind of see the texture of them, which texture, you can't cover texture. Um, so it's covering it pretty good. I'm really impressed so far. What time is it right now? I don't even know. It is, it is 9.20 in the morning right now. I know. I'm an early riser this morning. I'm not sure why, it's kind of odd. I'm gonna check back in with you guys, so see you later. Hey guys, I am back to check in with the foundation. It is 1.04 p.m. right now, so it's about three and a half-ish hours later. Um, I still feel like I look pretty flawless. It hasn't really moved. I haven't really been doing anything. I didn't go outside or anything. I've just been tinkering around in my apartment not really doing much but i still look super matte i mean i did put a lot of highlight on but um i look matte the foundation looks good it hasn't moved it honestly like feels like my skin um so it's looking pretty good so far but um we'll see as time goes on gonna stand there <laughs> you look like a butt all right so Marina's joining us for this outro <laughs> this is the time wow and um, I so far really like this makeup the foundation I like can't think with her standing there anyway um, I feel like my skin looks nice so what do you think Marina do you like the foundation Okay, I think she likes it. I like kind of sweated on my forehead a bit, but the foundation stayed on through that. If I were to do it again, I think I would put like a tiny little bit of concealer on my wee little spots, but that's just like a personal thing. Overall, I really do like it. I really enjoy the finish of it. I don't feel like I needed to set it with powder and I didn't set it with powder, so. I feel like this is an A+. I definitely will be wearing it again because it does have such full coverage and I really like that. And I really like when a foundation does have full coverage when like staring at you so that I don't have to wear concealer. I'm like all about that. So yeah, that's my review. This is my baby. And um, I give this foundation 4.5 stars. The reason I don't give it five stars is because I do prefer foundations to be in a pump. But because this is so thick, I understand why they did put it in a tube. But anyway, that's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my next video where we'll probably see more in the next video. <laughs> you're just gonna stand there like a creep like that? If you don't know, this is my younger sister, Marina. foundations my boy oh okay you can you can stay here then yeah you can stay here you be good boy all the time look at this fluff mcguff hey you be good boy you be good boy oh you be good boy You be good boy. You be good boy. Yeah. And look at this cutie. Look at these jelly beans. Whose little jelly beans are these? Oh, these are jelly beans. Yeah. What's all these bright lights, hey? So bright. <gasps> Is that the mailman? Boy, is that the mailman? How is the mailman? Your soap came, it's on the counter, love. My what? Your soap. It's here? Yeah, it's here. Oh!